Welcome to my tutorial about the state pattern. Mr.NET is here. The state pattern needs an interface and the concrete implementations of the interface. This concrete implementations represents a, a specific state what can be used. Then we need a context. The context allows us to use the methods what are provided by every state and it is also responsible to change the state. And now I implement this into the source code. To implement the state pattern in my source code, I create the interface called I state. This interface is public and offers four methods void, move down. Also, I need the concrete implementation of the state interface. The first class is called state down up. Which also implements the I state interface and the methods. The second concrete implementation is called state right left it is public and also implements the interface state with the methods so in this class state right left I want only that the move left method and the move right method something has something to do to show it i print something into the console moving moving left dot 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 and the move right method gets also implementation right the other methods gets only a comment nothing to do so the other implementation class also ne needs implementation for the methods but here is the different that the move down met method and the move up method has implementations moving down and moving up nothing to do nothing to do okay that's our state then we need the context The context has a private instance of a current state. Current state. Then it also has instances of every possible state instance. This is the state down, state down up object and the state right left object Underline 
update down up private private state state right left now in the constructor of the context create the instances of my properties here state down up is a new state down up object state down up state right left And the current state is the initial state, what, what I want. So I can say current state is the state down up. So that the, that's the constructor. The context needs also all methods what are provided to the client. And these methods are all these methods here. But the difference is that these methods in the context only delegate to the current state and call a specific method move down. So if the client is calling move down, the current the context ca calls current state move down. And I implement this in all other methods. with specific method call and now we need a possibility to change the state so for that I implement a method public void change state and we have to give the method a enum to say what state we need. So I create here a public enum called possible states. And these states are state down up and state right left. That's an argument here, possible states, possible states. And based on the argument, I choose the next state. So I can say case if the argument is a state down up. I can change the current state to state down up break and I implement the case statements for every possible state state right left is changed to state right left To, to give the, the concrete state implementations a, a chance to change the state inside this object, I create a private property called context. context. And this is an instance of the current context here. And I set the context in the constructor of the state down and up context 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 is the context as 
arguments. So now I can call in the move down method, for example, the context instance, and can call change state. And I can change the state into every possible state. For this example, state right left. So this is also needed in the other impl implementation. Yes, and this constructor needs an instance of the current context. This, this. Okay, that's the first thing. Now I want to show you this in my console program. First I need an instance of the context. And now I can call the context in one of the given methods, for example, move up. If I start the program, you see program start, moving up is called, and the program ends. So the initial state in the context is state down and up. So we called this method here, move up, moving up. Now, when I call the method move right or move left, nothing has to happen. So, move right and move left. If I start the program, yes, nothing changed because the method move left and move right isn't implemented because the body of the methods are not implemented. To change the state, I can use the constants instance and call the method change state. Oh, the program is already on, so. And I give the change state method a possible state. So I can, I change the state to state right left. So console.writeline change state. And now if I call the method move up in the state right left object, we see nothing to do. So nothing happened if I call this method after changing the state. So I start the program. Moving up and change state and after that nothing happens. But now I can call the methods move right and move left. If I start the program Yes, we see after changing the state, moving right and moving left. I can also call the, change the state when I call the method move down with the state down and up. We see I have here a constant and context instance and call the method change state. So I delete this and I call here the context move down. Now if I call this context, the state is changing and the move up method is ignored. Only the move right and move left method will be does something, will be doing something. Yes, 
changing the state, the method moving down is called, then the program change the state, and now moving right and moving left is called. So that's the state pattern. I hope I explained it well for you. If you if I forgot something, please write this into the comments and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.